national security um, uh, industry is divided into three main sectors. The three main sectors, and we'll look at the career opportunities in a minute, are manned services, yeah, systems, and physical security. So, examples of manned services. We'll look at the manned services now. Manned services. Now, we specialize in manned services. That's people, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right? Um, so, if you just look at your, your books now, if you go to the books, we'll have a look at the SIA books. I'm going to take these step by step. Okay? The first one you see here is CCTV. So, these are the actual career opportunities that you can get within the security industry. So, we've got CCTV. Now, this license here, if you notice, it's different to the other ones. Mm -hmm. It's got a maroon mm -hmm. um, side on the end. That is if you're working with cameras. Anything to do with CCTV, close protection, sorry, close uh, so, so the television, you need to have a CCTV license. And then this one here is security. Yeah? The one with the blue strip. Now that's security, a security guarding. We're looking at things like retail, static guarding, uh, corporate security, etc. Then you, all you need is this license here. And that is a different course we, we do for that. Yeah? And then CVIT, that's cash valuables in transit. All right, that's the guys you see with the visors. They go in the banks and take the money. Yeah? Mm. That's, that's the courier service, basically. Mm. Take care of the money back to the, their depot, etc. Cash valuables in transit. Mm. Then after that, you see the next one is vehicle immobilization, immobilizers. Vehicle immobilization. Now, basically, what is is will cleverness. So if you're working in car parts, etc., you'll need to have this kind of license. Yeah? Anything to involve involving in immobilizing vehicles, clamping them, towing them away, etc. Someone clamped your car, told your car they ain't got a license, they're doing that illegally. Yeah? This one here is closed protection. It's a bodyguard. Someone sent me an email just uh, oh, uh, a few days ago, asking for personal security. Yeah, having a problem with um, a partner, and they want to basically get a security guard or have a security guard come over to them to escort them to, to their house, pick up some goods, and then back. That's code protection. Mm. You need that kind of license. Okay, um, that's a 15-day course. Mm. All right. Um, and then finally, this is the door supervisor. Mm -hmm. That one, this one here, door supervisor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now let's submit to that one. Is that one there. Yeah. And with this particular license, you just need you can work as a security guard there. So again, you can work retail, you can work static guarding, okay. and all that with this license. Yeah. But you can also work on licensed premises. So you work on licensed premises, clubs, pubs, cinemas, restaurants. Um, events anywhere where there's a sale and consumption of alcohol, mm -hmm. you need this kind of license. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. So you can see the difference in mm -hmm. the various variations of different types of licenses you need. So, so tomorrow we're doing a CCTV, as I mentioned earlier on. So, if you can, for example, now if you're working in retail, but your job also involves using cameras, you need a CCTV license. So it's not just working in a control room. Because many people think, oh, we need a CCTV license only if you're working in a control room. No, a CCTV, closed-circuit uh, closed television, involves public space surveillance. So anywhere where public have access to those cameras mm -hmm. and you're monitoring them, you'll need to have a CCTV license. Okay, so there are the various uh, career opportunities. Okay, so that's one of the sectors we looked at. It's manned services. Manned services. Another one, systems. Systems. So we looked at systems earlier on. We said CCTV. What other types of systems do we have? <coughs> what other types of systems? Are in shops or anything or anywhere? Yeah, anywhere. Or uh, the tags, we said that. So we said the tags, yeah. That's electronic article surveillance. Right. Um, CCTV. Um, what other systems? You might have them at your home, maybe not. Maybe in this room you might see something. 
Alarms. Alarms, excellent, yeah, alarms. Yeah? So we've got alarms, CCTV tags. What about entry systems? Some swipe cards. Yeah. They're these door entry systems, etc. Yeah. All right? So they're just different types of systems. And then we also have physical security. Physical security. What do you think I mean by physical security? Um, security, what you can see. Like, in front of you. Like, man, proper security. All right, we've said man services already. Right. So physical security. Now, let, let's assume, in, at your home, you've got physical right. security. Right. What kind of physical security do you think you have got at home? What do you do when you leave your house? Lock it. So what have you got? That physical security. you got locks. Right. Locks. What are other types of physical security do you have in, uh, in place in various places? Uh, alarms. Physical alarms. security. Alarms. Sorry? No, that, that's man services. Yeah. So what kind of guard? What are you talking about? If someone leaves the house and there's a big hold of the security guard for the big pick of the Oh, okay, guard, that's guard. That's, again, that's man services. Not dogs. No, okay. No. We'll keep it simple. Right. Things like barriers. Gates. Gates. Excellent. What else? Fences. Fences, yeah. Through the fences. Shutters. Yeah, shutters. Shutters, yeah. They're all physical Wheels, security. Yeah. Wheels, okay, yeah. excellent. So, so, so basically, that's um, as you can see. So, so just to recap what we just said. So, you've got three main sectors: mm -hmm. the man services, mm -hmm. that's people, mm -hmm. systems, the electronic systems, okay, yeah, yeah? yeah, physical security, mm -hmm. turnstiles, mm -hmm. raised curves, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. any kind of barrier. Um, Say shutters, grills, mm. yeah, physical security. Okay, now let's look at the Private Security Industry Act 2001. When I started up in security, I said I started up a very long time ago, about 1985. We didn't have the security industry wasn't regulated, mm. yeah. And um, say for example, now you guys have come to see me today, and you wanted a security <laughs> job. You come and I interview you, I might like you. Mm. So, yeah, you look the part and everything. Some places they wouldn't even give training. Mm. They would say, right, okay, yeah, we like you, take your size, mm. put you in a uniform, send you down to the site. Mm. Now, it wasn't all like that. Mm. Okay? Because there, are, there were places you go that would give you proper training. Mm. But you see, it's just like sorting out the chaff from the wheat during harvest time. You know what it's like? Mm. Chaff gets tangled up with the wheat. The private security industry act came to sort out the chaff yeah. from the wheat. Yeah? In other words, um, it was there in place to regulate the industry. So to bring conformity and uniformity. If you can say that. Yeah? In other words, everyone had to conform. Because mm. now it's, it's been regulated. 